What's going on everybody? It's Fortify105 here today, and today I'm doing an updated tutorial. It is about time, I tell you. It is about time. I noticed this when I was on the workshop earlier, and it makes a old video I've done completely irrelevant now. Which I would normally be upset about, but this this is a happy moment for everyone in gaming here. So we're here with Space Engineers, and this is the game that inspired me to make the first tutorial. We're going to come to the workshop here. We're going to grab as many mods as possible. We'll come to a collection here, and we'll just start subscribing to all. Uh, you know. We'll, we'll find the most popular all-time collection here. The old IMDC Scrapyard. Subscribe to all. We'll just add that. We'll add the modular encounters collection here. We'll add Void Corp, you know, we'll, we'll we'll add a bunch of subscription items here, right? You know, shout out to, you know, these top five collections here that I'm going through and adding from. Oh, this guy doesn't have an add all. Shout out to the top four. So now we come to my subscribed items here, and we see we got a lot of stuff here, you know, 14 pages of it, in fact. What used to happen that you had to do was you had to follow... Uh, tutorial like mine or the one I made where you'd go into the web browser and you'd insert this JavaScript that would add a button capable of adding all workshop items to a collection. Not anymore. Not with Star Citizen. No. Or Star Citizen. Good lord. Steam. So we can come back here. You know, you, you'll go to your workshop page, right? Uh, you can come to collections here. Create a collection. And we will call this the new Steam Workshop Tutorial. What we'll go ahead and do is we'll give this a fancy little image here. I'm just going to do the Made by the Community Star Citizen logo that's sitting on my account now. And we will call the description, It's About Time Steam. And so what we can do now is save and continue. And what you will notice here is they have edited this. You have child items now, so you have items in your favorites, you have your subscribed items, and items you've published. And you can go through, individually add, you know, these different ones here, and you can do that with your subscriptions like you used to. Or, they finally added an add-all button. This makes life a million times easier for everyone. So now when we're making mod packs, we can do that, and we can link other collections to this, so... If we wanted to link, you know, the uh, the demonstration for tutorial collection down here, the original tutorial, it's it's on here now. So we can save and continue. We can give it a background image too. Let's give it a fancy little Drake interplanetary background image, and let's upload that. You know, rep rep the star system, and we have a preview YouTube video here that we can put the link to this in. You know, but now. Now we have this collection here, and, you know, it it's subscribable to all, all 139 items now. Steam has made this to where now we don't have to work around it. That's why I wanted to get a new tutorial out there, because the old tutorial did phenomenal. 44,000 views, lots of appreciation in the comments, tons of likes on it, it's by far my most successful video I've ever done, and I can't thank the community enough for how well that did. And the reason it worked so well is because we were working with what we had. We did not have this system in place. This, I don't know how new it is. I just noticed it today. And by far, I think this is going to fundamentally make everything substantially better when it comes to the modding community, right? The modding community is going to prosper a lot better on Steam because this is an effect now, you know? And you're able to just publish it like that. I mean, it's published, it's awaiting the automated content check system, and as long as it doesn't contain harmful content, it's going to go right up there. And, you know, it's going to credit all of the mod creators over here, which is going to be amazing. It's going to give you full customization of it over here going to tell you your visitor count favorites, unique favorites when it was posted, when you do updates. It it fundamentally changes everything because 
if you remember the old video, and I will go ahead and pull up Chrome here, and I will open up Steam in Chrome, and I will drag it over to show you how we used to do this. So, go ahead and sign in to Steam here real fast on my browser. Oh, what was my password? I can't remember my password. It's fine. We'll just pull up the video here and we'll mute it. So, if you'll notice, 44,666 views. We're, we're doing phenomenal on this video, but if we come over here, this is all you had back then for your child item. And you would come insert the JavaScript into there, and what that would do would be add these two buttons here. And what we had to do once all that JavaScript was shoved, forced into Steam, was you'd click that button and it'd go through and essentially auto-click everything for you. No more. No more. That is not a thing anymore. No. No. Now it's even as simple as when you want to go edit your collection. You come here. Uh, edit collection, right? We want to go add the Finchy V2 to it. And we want to go <coughs> remove all subscribed items. And we want to filter list by DX11. At all. That's only going to add stuff that's DirectX 11 in there, like that. Or if we want to remove all, and we want to add the IMD C ships, <clears throat> we just put that in. All that stuff's going to come in, and now we put in DX 11 here. All of that stuff's going to come in. And, you know, we save, update the collection. I'm done editing. Bam. Deem. I cannot say this with enough stress. This is long overdue, but by God, I am sure the modding community is enthused as I am that this is finally here. Finally. It has been too long overdue. And now that this is here, I am excited to see what the modding community does. Because I've seen comments throughout the other video where there were people putting 50,000 plus mods, you know, into their collection. And, you know, as you if you look through the comments, you can see that, you know, everyone, I mean, everyone is having great times, you know, with it. There was someone here who, and I can't find it here. There was someone who mentioned something about having like 50,000 mods for Gary's mod that they were putting in. And you know, and the fact that they were able to do that with the content I put out previously, I'm very appreciative of. I'm glad I was able to make life easier, and I hope this year will continue to make life easier. Like always, I've said it once, I'll say it before, it's going to happen at the end of every video. Like the video, subscribe if you're not, ring the bell, I mean... You don't have to ring the bell. If you subscribe, that's all I want out of you. But if you ring the bell, you never know when the next cool video like this that's going to help you out later down the line is going to come out. So it's always good to knock that bell up a little bit. And of course, I am starting Star Citizen for a recording series. There's going to be a lot of tutorials with Star Citizen. I highly encourage you guys to check it out if you're fans of Star Citizen. And you know... I mean, if there's anything else you want to see tutorial-wise or gaming-wise, I mean, drop it in the comments. I am open to do anything right now. So, <clears throat> from myself to you guys, have a great New Year's, and we'll be back up to publishing videos as soon as possible.